Hey, this is Dr. Jason, and here's Leah. She's making some faces for you. She's uh, eating some eggs tonight and uh, having some fun with Dad. And we're watching a little bit of Mickey Mouse while we uh, eat, and she's getting her bacon. Um, and I wanted to come to you because I recently put a post up regarding a little six-month-old uh, boy that I had as a patient with his mom and how he was getting better after just like eight days on a nutritional program in our office. And the reason I wanted to come to you with this is because this is really all about saving the next generation, saving these kids. And this is why she eats the way she does, this is why she gets adjusted, this is why her mom and dad are chiropractors, to help that next generation not have to get medicated. That six-month-old little boy, um, basically a rash over his entire body. And the only thing the medical doctors wanted to do, all they knew to do, steroids, antibiotics, topical creams, things like that, stuff that wouldn't work. And then they even went as far as trying to make the mom feel bad because she was breastfeeding at six months old. That's so ridiculous in my eyes. It's amazing. Um, Leah's breastfed for over a little over two years. She doesn't anymore, but she did um, because we knew the benefits of that. Uh, but I also wanted to tell you a story that we never told. And this was probably maybe six months ago, a little bit less, was um, she doesn't get sick very often. She's taken care of her immune system works. She gets adjusted. She takes supplementation if needed, but she eats really good. And what happened, though, was uh, we went to a restaurant, I think, and had some soup. And that night, she actually had a, a little bit of a vomiting spell. She did it a couple of times, and that's so unlike her. She doesn't do that. And with the testing we do in the office, nutrition response testing, amazing stuff was we were able to actually handle something before it became completely out of control. Now, you may think vomiting is out of control. In reality, that's how the body works. The body is, is wanting to get something out of itself. So her body knew there was something in there from that food that it didn't want, and it knew that it had to get rid of it. Vomiting was the, the route that it took. But what I want to explain to you was the work that we do, that we can provide, is so powerful. Why is that? That night, instead of having to take her to an ER or to a medical doctor or that route to get her prescribed medication, antibiotics, whatever it is, whatever they think they want to throw at her, we actually found out by testing her that she had a bacteria. She probably picked that up from where we ate. We don't typically eat out a lot, but we ate out that night. She had some soup. Something probably got contaminated a little bit here and there. And we were able to actually that night give her some supplementation that actually handled that issue in her body. And she tested for a little bit of food sensitivity too because there was some cross-contamination in the food. And we actually handled that. Not only that, but her mom and I were actually able to pinpoint the exact vertebrae in her spine, put that back into place. We adjusted it, which allowed to shut off the little valve in here, as they call it. it's, it's called a sphincter in the philosophy, in the, the anatomy. And it allowed to shut that vomiting down so that her body would actually push stuff out the other way as well, because we didn't want to have to go through the vomiting if we didn't need to. And so basically, we helped her handle the bacteria nutritionally, but then also we adjusted her spine in that T4 thoracic region because that spinal, that spinal segment was out. She had stress on her body from the food that she ate. Something in the food wasn't working for her, and it put that vertebrae out. The muscles were tight in that area. It moved that vertebrae, which is called the subluxation. We gave her stuff to handle the bacteria. We adjusted that spinal vertebrae back into place so it was no longer out. And literally, fever went down. Everything cleared up by the next day, which... You know, we still don't want her sick at all, and that's not fun, but you have to realize, we see patients, we see little kids come in. They could be a day old, they could be five years old, and what's happening is when they get sick, they're going in to an ER. They're going in to their pediatrician. They're getting medication put in their body for simple things that we can handle. That's one of the benefits we have of knowing what we do, but I want this life, I want this gift for every single child like my daughter because I want you to be healthy. I want your children to be healthy. We want your generation, your kids to be healthy as they move forward. So I wanted to tell that story because we never told the story about her getting sick and what we actually did with that and how we handled it. And she's been great ever since. 
we handled the bacterial problem. We adjusted her. She's a rock star. She's doing great. She's eating some eggs tonight and bacon because daddy likes breakfast and didn't feel like cooking a lot tonight. So that's what we're doing. And then she's watching a little Mickey Mouse before we get ready to go to sleep and read some books. So again, this is how we can change the world. This is how we can make this generation healthy because right now we're going down a very bad road. And I just want to let you know this is how we're going to do it. So nutrition response testing, chiropractic, saving these kids' lives. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. And until then, be well. Have your children be well. Take care of yourselves. Thanks a lot.